Wetlands are beautiful places full of amazing creatures. But what happens after dark? What happens when the swamp creatures come out? For the first time ever, we're about to find out by setting camera traps in this amazing swamp. No boats are allowed out here at night, and no one has ever set cameras in the swamp before. We just got special permission from the state park, and so we're going to set some cameras and see what we can get. It's going to be wild. You look at a swamp like this and you might think it's not a very good place for mammals. Okay, otters and beavers maybe, but what else would brave this cypress swamp? It's loaded with mosquitoes, it's got lots of snakes, and this swamp in particular is home to the northernmost population of alligators. But take a closer look at this island that I'm on. It is totally trampled down with animal activity. This is like the one dry spot. It's like a reverse oasis, one dry spot in an otherwise huge swamp. So we're here today to figure out what creatures are using these tiny swamp islands. So we're here in Merchant Millpond State Park, this amazing swamp. And uh, I've got Sean from State Parks to help uh, show us around and motor us along with this giant box of about 50 camera traps here. And we've got our swamp guide, Chuck, who knows this place better than anyone. So we're going to go out and uh, try to find some of these little islands where the animal activity is really concentrated. Put some camera traps there. It's going to be wild. Merchant Mill Pond State Park has a small dam at one end. So at the beginning of our trek, we were basically in a big lake with thousands of islands formed by the cypress and tupelo trees. On these islands, we saw tons of signs of animal activity. So we scampered around them, setting our camera. Further upstream, the lake fades away, and you end up on this tiny ribbon of a stream, paddling up through a beautiful swamp forest. Again, there are lots of interesting holes and pathways that it looked like animals were using, so we had no shortage of good places to set our cameras. With all the camps set, we paddled home and let them do their work for a couple months. Couldn't wait to see what we get. Look at that outboard motor go. All right, we've got a great spot here. We've got this island here with a lot of animal activity. Uh, and we mounted this camera on this Tupelo tree right up there. And now Alex is gonna get it back and we can see how many pictures we got on it. Oh, oh, oh! Ten points. <laughs> All right, picking up a camera here on one of these islands in the swamp. You can see the camera right there. And right there is a cottonmouth, venom of a snake. So, gotta keep your eyes out when you're picking up cameras out here in Merchant Mill Pond State Park. Oh, jeez, ants. <laughs> That's a lot. Ants, ants, ants. Hard filled. Uh, 203. Okay, we've got 32 on this one. That's hardly any. Okay. This one's got 80. Card filled, 523. 315 videos. Awesome. 129 on here. All right. All right, we've finished paddling around the swamp, picking up our cameras. Now we're going to take them back to the lab and see what we got. So, uh, Sean and I are back. Uh, we've gone to the swamp. We've picked up the camera traps. We've got all the footage queued up. We're about to look at it for the first time, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I what is that, Nutria? Yeah. Yeah. You can see his beard again. This is Nutria Island Look how for fat sure. That dude is. Oh, no. There we go. It. It's bending down the plant and eating leaves. leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's yeah. climbing the tree. Yeah. He's really looking up yeah. for stuff to eat, not just foraging down around in the water. Right, right. Yeah, they're smarter than they look. They don't look very smart. No, they don't. There's... I feel like that nutria just keeps getting bigger and rounder. <laughs> he does. We saw a lot of nutria on these cameras. Swimming around, chewing on plants, these giant swamp rodents are an invasive species, originally from South America. They are now considered a pest in the Southeast United States because of all the damage they can do to wetlands. Their webbed feet and big tails make them great swimmers, while their big incisors allow them to eat a wide variety of plant material. They also have big square snouts and enormous whiskers that help tell them apart from the smaller muskrats or the larger beavers. In Merchant's Mill Pond State Park, they seem to have taken over some of these big islands where we expected beavers. We instead found a family of invasive nutria. 
the, the Nutria the dance. Nutria dance. Yeah, first time on film. <laughs> we <laughs> the, got it. The, the we got the Nutria dance. dance. Are right, you ready? We got to do the Nutria dance. Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna spread. You saw it here first. I oh, think it's an otter. No, I think it's to me. Is it an otter? It's a mink. Oh, mink. sweet. It's a swallow oh, tail. All right, that? awesome. That's a that's no. a first. It's a possum, right? No. No. Is that a mink? I think it must be a mink. Raccoon. Oh, oh nice. Look at that. Beautiful mink. Mink. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Guy was showing off. The other one came in there. Look at that. Goose fight. Oh, there's some goose drama going on on this island. It's a nutrient and the geese. Oh, the geese. Goose wasn't happy about the nutrient. No. And the nutrient wasn't happy either. There goes the nutrient one way. Oh, they got their babies there. Oh, that's why. That's Otherwise, why. they don't care. Yeah. There. Oh, the mink. mink. And oh, and the goose <laughs> is yeah. fighting it off. That yeah, that's staring amazing. it off. Because that mink would definitely grab one of those. One of the babies. Yeah, for would sure. definitely grab a goose chick. Oh, oh, oh there oh, it is. Oh, there oh. it is. What was that, it? Was that was that a mink or an otter? Holy cow! Oh yeah, it comes oh. in. Oh 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 oh! I think it's a mink. I think it's a mink too. The mink is going for it. It knows that there's an injury. Because now the babies are injured. Wait, where are the babies? Are they gone? Did it get them already? Yeah, I think and, it, it already took one. Oh, there, there is. There, maybe there's multiple minks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The mink darted in and bit all three chicks, paralyzing two of them while carrying off the other. It then returns to grab the other two goslings. The parents, blind in the darkness and hemmed in by the cypress knees, seem to have no way to stop the mink. In action, and yeah. it's a predator that you that we have all across North Carolina, but people don't even realize. It I've never even because you don't see them very often. I've never at all. seen one, let alone seen one attacking on yeah. the hunt. I think it's done. I think he's got them all. Was oh. that an owl? Yeah, yeah barred owl. Very cool. Oh, look oh, at that oh. owl! What's it What's got? It? Oh, oh. oh, it caught something. There it is. It's oh, an, an owl. owl. Barred owl. Nice. Did it get something? You got something. What'd it get? What'd it get? These owls are sitting up here around on these trees, and you don't think of them as fishing or actually getting, like, stuff out of the water. Right, right. They're well, going to be hitting, you know, stuff on land, but... What is that? Usually this is a raccoon. raccoon. Usually Somebody's something very up close curious. Is a Oh! No! Whoa! <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> Big old black bear. Big old black bear. Thank you. For, oh man. Thank you for not destroying the camera, black bear. Let's see what happens next. Oh, there you go. Oh, the walk in that same log. Look at the water oh, dripping off man. his feet. Man, I can't believe we've gotten everything on this one island. This is a popular, popular spot. That's it. Oh, the planetary warbler. That's beautiful. My favorite swamper. Whoa. And you can still see the bear, the bear tracks, the mud tracks. Much. Oh, oh, big old bear. Yeah, dude. Oh man. Oh, no, bear. There's the big oh, raccoon. Wow. Oh, and he's sopping wet. And you get too wet, though. She is huge. They, We have some of the largest black bear anywhere. Yeah. In. Yeah, go for a swim. Look at <laughs> plants. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, that's Look amazing. That. And they're great swimmers. Yeah. Much better than raccoons. Oh, that was <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Hello. Bobcat. Oh, my goodness. Looking. I was kind of skinny. Whoa. Oh, Bobcat. There there. Is. Bobcat. Oh, wow. Face rough? See that? Yeah. You know, I mean, they always say that cats don't like water. Right. So I was a little surprised to, we'll see how many we get. There's, yeah, the only way to get there is to swim. Yeah. So that, those. Maybe, maybe bobcats don't really care. Oh! oh whoa, look at this bobcat. Oh my god, look how wet right it is. Right in the day, you can see all of the coloration. Oh, I hello. Yeah, baby. it was swimming. Oh, yeah. just shaking yeah. off. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that bobcat, bobcat sitting just right by the camera. Over the shoulder. Predators. Oh, <laughs> those teeth. That's oh incredible. God, look at this dude. Holy oh. moly. Right next to the camera. That's a pretty fierce That's cat right really there. Awesome. That like reminds me of like a lion on the open plain. Yes, you know? It's I, the same I, teeth. I, that is not a wild cat I'm going to pet. Just came out in the water. Yeah. Kind of small. 
you know, actually all the raccoons we've seen so far have been small compared to the urban city yeah, raccoons. Compared to what you, yeah, <clears throat> the cat food eating raccoons. I think making a living in the swamp, even for a raccoon, yeah. you know, is a little bit, uh, a little more more difficult than in the city. There's a raccoon that's swimming. Right. Oh <laughs> man, that's cool. <laughs> I'm like, that's not a nutrient. That is cool. Look at that guy go. Not particularly fast, but not at it all. Doesn't you have too far to go from island. To I don't island. know. When I first saw this, I thought it was a red panda. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought. It looks like a red panda. That red panda in yeah. North Carolina. Oh my God! That's he very cool. No, that's just a cute little raccoon. Oh, now that you see him reaching his hands. Oh yeah. He's looking for something. He's looking for something. What's in there? What's in there? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he's got oh. a snake. Is that a snake? Is it a snake or a worm? It looks like a snake. something big and long. Oh, oh, raccoon's looking more snakes. Oh, oh what did he get? What did he get? I don't know. Some, some little grubby thing. Oh, he might, might be right. under oh, the bark. A, he, now he's got a new game. Yeah. He's now ripping he, off the bark. It, the time was, was ripe for that. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. I know. I like this game. Let's keep it going. Look at that. Oh, that's so uh, cool. Wait. Oh, there he goes. Well, swimming well, off. Wait. Raccoons again on the hunt. They love that, like, couple inches of water where they can just roam around. You know, I've got a new vision of raccoons now that they're just like, look how he's, like, I didn't realize they did that. Just, and we've gotten tons of footage of them just kind of feeling with their arms, just looking for something under there, and they once they get something that they, they can tell from the feel that it's food. And this is like, black water. You don't see through the water here at all versus right. like a, a stream or a creek where maybe they can hunt nah, from the sight. Well, in the nighttime they're not In the see. night, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they're just all using their hands like a radar to see okay. what's down there. Digging, digging through the swamp for little morsels so he can smell if there's something good in there. Crayfish or... Crayfish or worm or some little other little grubby thing. Wait, raccoon. look at this raccoon. <laughs> He's full on swimming there. That's cool. Oh! oh! River otter. Awesome. Oh, dude. Oh, a bunch of them. Three of there's them. There's like, yeah. Oh, they're all wet, leaving their footprints out there. What an awesome log. <laughs> this. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. River otter. otter. There's something. two. One on and one in the water. Yeah. And he's eating something, isn't he? Yeah, he's chomping. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, one, two, <laughs> Look at that. Four, a whole <laughs> otter family. Five. Wow. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's more than a family, that right? Like, those otter are all... rush hour at 1.21 yeah. a.m. Let's watch that again. One, two. Really frantic. Oh, oh here deer. we go. We haven't had deer yet yeah, here. We... This is probably the most camera trap pictures I've ever looked at in North Carolina <laughs> without getting a deer. So it swam, and then now it's on the, all that uneven ground. This yeah. is not what you think of when you think of a, a deer prancing by. Right. Like, oh, look at that fawn. Wow. Wow. You would think he might get stuck in the mud. Yeah. Oh, they're walking on the lawn. Yeah, balance. That's great. Balance beam. Okay, so there's a hole right there, and we wondered what would go into that hole. Oh, I tree. remember this one, yeah. Is it the raccoon showing yeah, us right in the first some day? nice beaver chew, so. Yeah. Nope, raccoon doesn't go in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's going cool. into the yeah, hole. There's, Look yes. at that, there we go. That's who's using your oh, hole every day. Oh, that's so cool. Very neat. Oh, man, we got a bat yes. going into a tree hole. That's amazing. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> hello. And a dinosaur <laughs> strutting by. Nice great blue nice heron. Nice beer beak. Oh, oh, Heron's oh, got... nice. Oh. It's got a fish. Is that, a, yeah, is that looks, an eel? It looks like an eel. Or, yeah. Yeah. So nice. It's got an American That's eel. cool. Predation yeah. Island that we've yeah. got right here. Oh, wow. Look at that shot. I, I'm astounded by how in the same island we've seen, you know, eight different species of mammal. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it might take you three years if you are working at this park as a park ranger out every day to see all those things, or maybe you wouldn't even see them all. Yeah. But over the course of a couple months, they are all using the exact same spot. Yeah. So that is incredible. Uh, and then the nutria are everywhere, and they are always eating. And, and they're I, very fat. And they are huge, and I don't, we don't see any evidence that anything is eating them. That's true. So um, I think that that could cause some some concern and, and maybe is cause for some more research into how they're affecting the ecosystem. Right. Yeah. This invasive species is eating too many plants. Uh, you know, we, we did have some bobcats. In theory, a bobcat should be able to take a nutria. We um, would, would have loved but, to have seen that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have to set more cameras. <laughs> right. But, you know, when those nutria are out there swimming in the middle of the, of the swamp, they're pretty safe. Uh, I don't think... Uh, 
I, I don't think a bobcat's going to get him. Maybe the answer is we need more alligators. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching this episode of Wild Animals. We got so much amazing footage in the swamp that we actually have a couple more short videos coming out. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for those new videos. Now, big thanks, obviously, to Sean Higgins from North Carolina State Parks and also the folks at Merchant Mill Pond State Park from helping make this video happen. Also, big thanks to the support from North Carolina State University, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, uh, especially Mike Garr, Matt Jones, Evan Crawford, and Ben Zeno for their help with the production of this video. Keep an eye out for the next one. It's going to be wild.